Department of Education, Division of Iligan City, presents Implementation Review and Strategic Planning in Reading Program Focal Person, Dr. Mayra Ambalon, Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Roy Angelo E. Gasso, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Shambai Abanks Usman, CIB Chief Henry B. Abueva, Iligan appreciates the world of a child is the reading program planner of SDO Iligan to sustain the literacy of our learners. This is augmented with putting up of library hubs, home learning spaces, mini libraries in every community of the learners. Due to pandemic, reading materials are delivered to houses of children by teachers and parents. Ilaw, in the light of learning, gives the story how reading will be implemented and sustained with the help of the parents as our partner as learning facilitators in the new learning landscape. Letter A, Program Implementation. Ilaw has been implemented and supported with the following activities. Number 1, Divisional Home Learning Space. Number 2, Home Mini Libraries. 3,945 home mini libraries had been put up in the entire division. Number 3, Creation of 5 Central Library Hubs. Number 4, Random Reading Assessment for Readers Profiling. Results were used for SLA's development. Number 5, Conducted First Divisional Online Reading Contest for Grades 1 to 3, 2020. Number 6, Evaluation of School Mini Libraries Number 7, Reading on Wheels Letter B, Data on Number of Learners Pulled Out For number of schools implementing the program, for elementary level, we have 85 schools For secondary level, we have 27 and a total of 112 The total numbers of learners pulled out and aided for school year 2019-2020 is 1,738 For school year 2020-2021, 1,574 The total numbers of learners mainstreamed or moved to instructional level For 2019, we have 1,000 1,282 and for 2020, we have 867. Letter C. Distance Learning Resources What learning resources are developed in your division? Grade 9 Learning Resources in English from Quarter 1 to Quarter 4 is 100% utilized. School-based SLAs by district and we have also the Big Book Reduction. Support to learners. How did you ensure that all learners have access to learning resources? Access to learning resources includes reading on wheels, drop backs, home visitation, Facebook, online recorded reading stories, and YouTube. For support learners to disabilities, we have the home visitation and the virtual reading app, YouTube reading links. For instructional needs for slow and non-readers facilitate at home are supported by recorded video materials, home visitation, parents orientation, distribution of reading materials to Central Library and for the support the social well-being of parents a learning facilitator and teachers during distance education we have online kumustahan and creation of parents GC for intervention support to teachers how did you support the teachers in developing weekly home learning plan to meet the needs of learners with varying levels of access and capability we have conduct of lack session focus topic on reading provision of tactical assistance on utilization of reading materials we have validation of SLAs in reading, the school-based weekly kumustahan, the enhancement of WHLP, we have benchmarking and in-service training. Support to school leaders. What kind of support and professional development did you provide to school leaders and teachers to effectively deliver the program? We have conduct of CID Panag Ambitay, the online and face-to-face -face district kumustahan. We have kapihan sa DepEd, webinar for school heads on LAC and LDM. We have also recognition of performance Gantimpala Agad Award. Or GAA. Innovations. In what ways have you been successful in minimizing the number of learners at risk of dropping out from the different learning modalities? Number one, reward system. Number two, school pantry. Number three, reading on wheels and community libraries, mini libraries. Monitoring results. How did the teacher establish and maintain regular communication with learners and families, particularly the most vulnerable? Number one, conduct parents orientation. Conduct home visitation to identified learners. Teachers monitor monitoring sheets through borrower's card. Lack session. How did the teachers measure the learner's progress to ensure that learners and families have an accurate picture of learner's performance for this school year? We have use of grade sleep complied quarterly. Use of Depend Order 31 series of 2021. The performance task, portfolio assessment, and summative assessment. We have module submission. Borrower's card. How many books are borrowed and SLA submitted. Monthly report from Library Hub Librarian.
The challenges and gaps. For component A, the program implementation, these are the following challenges. Restriction of home visit, geographical location, and distribution of the reading materials. Actions taken and recommendations. Provision of reading materials through dropbacks. Partnership with Barangay LGU. Implemented the use of RBI, the handheld radio instruction, and reading on wheels. And the responsible persons involved are the reading teachers, the school heads, and the EPS. Component B, data on number of learners pulled out, challenges, distribution and retrieval of reading resources, and parents' participation. The actions taken and recommendations are weekly parents' orientation, and the responsible persons involved are the reading coordinator, the EPS, the school heads, and the PSDS. For the component of distance learning resources, the challenges are the following. The access to retrieval of reading materials due to IATF color code. And the actions taken and recommendations are the following. Coordinate with the Barangay LGU for permission and provide dropbacks for the materials to be picked up by the parents and learners. And the responsible persons involved, the reading coordinator, the EPS, the school heads, the PSDS, and the parents. Support to learners component. The challenges are the following, lack of learners facilitators at home, access of the learners to the materials, and for the actions taken and recommendations are the following, capacity building for volunteer parents, and implementation of reading on wheels. Support to teachers, the challenges are the following, schedule of the activity due to IATF restriction, and the teacher's wellness. The action taken and recommendations are the following, create group chat for updates, and conduct weekly kumustahan. Support to school leaders, the challenges, implementation of the program due to restrictions of movement or color coding. And the action taken and recommendation is the CID panagambitay and online communication management. Innovations, the challenges are the following, implementation and sustainability of the reading program and activity. An action taken and recommendation for these challenges are the following, the CID Panagambitay and the Online Communication Management. For monitoring results, the challenges are the following, the implementation of the pulled out scheme. The action taken and recommendation is the provision of recorded reading materials. Plans and next steps. The planned activities are the following. Organized Parents Conference SLF in Reading by Grade Level will be done on August to September 2021 and the responsible persons are the EPS, the school heads, the parents, and LG. We have also webinar for reading teachers grade 1 to grade 3 teachers which will be done on July, August 2021 and the responsible persons are the EPS and the teachers. Conduct of Reading Contest Series 2 on September 2021. The Conduct of Reading Assessment on September 2021 and the Reading Festival on October to November 2021 and the Orientation and Implementation of Reading on Air with RBI and TVBI on September to October 2021 which includes the responsible persons, the EPS, teachers, and the RBI team. Basta Iliga number one. Basta Iliga, walang iwanan.